Hey, welcome back, everybody. More Age of Empires. Uh, this is some more ranked. Uh, we are going up against, and I'm, I'm going to call, I'm going to say his name is Babies Long. Uh, they're playing as the English, up against me, playing as the Abbasid. Uh, the map is Hill and Dale. I like to break out Abbasid on Hill and Dale. It's, it's a pretty defensive, uh, it's a pretty defensive map. You can really wall off these uh, little side paths in this front and get a, a pretty secure base going. Knowing that I'm up against the English, I'm, I'm, I'm of course looking out for early aggression. We really want to scout well. I'm getting my two scouts, and we're going to grab up uh, whatever sheep we can off the map, but more importantly, we want to see if they're going for maybe a slow, dark age kind of farm build into like a macro build or if they're gonna go all out aggression with just like longbowmen and uh, rams so I don't I don't want to immediately go for uh, a second town center right away just and work off the assumption that that I'm not gonna have to deal with any aggression being really unlucky with uh, sheep finds on the map okay there there's a few more oh and there's just one wandering near my my gold but uh really we want to play this cautiously and we want to get out some horsemen early on maybe pair them up with a scout and start harassing his base probably this gold or maybe uh these berries back here if he's going for them although knowing knowing an english player they're, they're probably not going for the berries they're just farming away you'll probably see a mill back here uh, and just various farms going up. Yep, there we go. So it's, it's very difficult to harass a uh, English player early on. And this town center, oh, it fires a lot of arrows. We're aging up. We're going economic wing. We're going to get the fresh food stuffs upgrade. And this is right about the time when I would be going for stone. But again, we're going to play it a little cautiously. So instead, I'm going to put a mill down over here to try and get some of these deer. We're going to keep scouting. We see the council hall going up, so we're for sure going to get down our stables and just pump out horsemen. We want to see what we can force our opponent into. There's the immediate stables. That's what I like to see. He's been pretty good with his scouts. He's bringing them back and forth. And now, once I get, yeah, I'm gonna chase his scout away and then put down the uh, mining camp. No need to send lots of villagers over to it. In fact, I have a decent amount on food now because we're, we're trying to pump these horsemen as quick as we can. But unfortunately, his scout is gonna spot me mining stone here. And I'm going to send my first horseman out to just try and get rid of this scout. I'm going to start rallying villagers over to wood, and now I'm also going to start putting horsemen up towards the front of his base. Just some wolves attacking, of course. And now we've got a decent uh, number of horsemen coming out with this scout. And we could get distracted by these scouts that are out on the map. I mean, we'll chase them if we have to, but really we're heading towards his base because he just got... Oh, and we'll take out that sheep. Why not? He just got up to the feudal age, so let's see if we can't get some damage done. He's quick on the draw with his villagers. I try to go after that one, but kind of pull back. I don't like taking all this uh, arrow fire from the town hall. So we're just going to kind of bounce around back and forth. We'll play a little micro dance if he has to... Uh, because he has to pay attention. Of course, we're, we're both having to, to focus here right now. I want to stay out of the range of the uh, town center, but I still want to get... Uh, still want to harass his villagers when possible. And he's, he's ducking his villagers in and out of his town center, but it's got to be annoying. I mean, they could be gathering food at this point, although I am losing, I am losing uh, a horseman here. Unfortunately, the horseman didn't quite get in there. Now he's, yeah, he's still got six rallied in his uh, town center, and I'm just bringing out more horsemen. I'm seeing uh, walls going up in the back. 
And now the uh, longbowmen are starting to come out in numbers. We trap a villager there. That's what I was looking for earlier. Just a little trap to try and prevent them from moving. And then we can knock them down with the spears. But, I mean, one villager for all these horsemen? Not so sure about that. And mostly we wanted to see if... We wanted to get to know what his base had. And it's mostly looking pretty macro-y. I'm not seeing any more military structures. I'm not seeing spearmen come out. We're just going to run around his base. Ooh, got a little too close there. He's still retreating villagers into his uh, town center when he needs to. And that's smart. I mean, he's costing me a lot of... Uh, he's costing me a lot of resources. We're doing more dancing on the front lines. It looks like he's not really sure what to do here. Most of what he's going to do is going to be scouted by me. Not sure if I should be retreating all these horsemen. I still have a sizable number, and it's not like I'm doing nothing on the back end of this. We've actually gotten up to our second town center, and we're just continuing to gather resources. I would have really liked to see me keep these horsemen busy, but it looks like now I'm going back in, so that's good. Putting up walls, our opponent's definitely definitely playing uh, defensively and there's some longbowmen taking shots at the horsemen I'm not really sure where to send my horsemen I, I could send them up this way or I could send them across to go after the gold there I can see he's positioning his uh, longbowmen up north I've decided to put down some walls of my own and chase out his scout but now we're just kind of looking around seeing what we can get we're seeing villagers over here near the gold but it's hard to target them down. Oof, there's just so many arrows. I'm losing a lot of my horsemen here. We find some villagers up here, but his longbone are already responding. And now we find the king's palace. So now we figured out what he's up to. He's just macroing up. He wanted to quickly get to the castle age, and now we're likely going to start seeing knights coming out of these two uh, stables. And hopefully I've noticed the, um, the double stables, because I really need to get down another uh, barracks. Because I only have one, and the fact that I'm not going for this hardened upgrade right now, that means maybe I didn't see those, maybe I didn't see those um, knights, or, or the, uh, the double stables, but I, I should be suspecting knights. I'm going to send my horsemen forward again. Now I see the knights. Hopefully, yeah, okay, I'm getting the phalanx upgrade. Now I'm getting the hardened, and I'm definitely producing spearmen. Would love to see me... Ooh, okay, couldn't quite harass there. I would love to see me get another barracks. Yep, there's another barracks. Looks like I got the two blacksmiths, because I was able to age up. And we were able to get to a third town center. Now that's important, because we saw him go... Single town center into King's Palace, essentially a second town center. So the idea is that we can out macro him, but here come those knights. They're going to start taking out my villagers, and I really have to defend with these. I mean, they're not even hardened spearmen yet. They're just spearmen going up against these knights. It's not a great matchup. I really need to get that hardened upgrade. That said, we can mix in some horsemen to just kind of tank a little bit of damage. We do go up to the next stage, and now, okay, good, we're getting the upgrade to Hardened. Yeah, we, oh, he's just turning around and sniping down these uh, horsemen. These poor villagers. The, the spearman is not going to defend you. Oh, okay, good, they get distracted by the mill. That's pretty good. Over here, we're trying to put a stop to these knights. Oh, but now the knights find my uh, villagers. Okay, looks like I respond and I send them uh, back to the town center. That's good. And there's some more spearmen coming out. And we should get that hardened upgrade. Yeah, they're hardened now. Good. So they're dealing a lot more damage. They're tankier. Perfect. We lost, what, maybe four or five villagers in that attack. There were some down here that we lost. We were able to kill a decent number of his knights, although you can see he's really pumping them now. Would love for him to engage here. Yeah, nice. That's some more 
more night kills. And these crossbowmen are doing great work too. Oh, would have loved to surround there. Ooh, good shots by the crossbowmen. That's great. So we've got decent military production. Would love to see, yeah, some camel archers come out. And we are getting the preservation of knowledge upgrade. That's good. And we're getting all of our level one blacksmith upgrades. We're gonna chase his army down, but I'm not really sure. Ooh, with those knights, I'm not sure if we can keep this up. Looks like we're gonna battle it out up here, although it's not ideal. Looks like I'm gonna retreat my ranged units to try and hold them. This is when I'm really nervous because I just saw a huge army. He's going to come for my base. And I've got units running all over the place trying to just like defend what I've got. So at this point I decide we need to turtle up because we're, we're really greedy on these three town centers which aren't even producing right now. I really need to get more villagers going. But I'm trying to just wall this up to prevent his army from just waltzing right on in. But I'm gonna lose more villagers because of it. Do I have, okay, I do have the textiles upgrade, so at least my villagers are a little tankier. He's burning down the palisade wall. I'd love to see myself get a uh, an outpost up. Uh, and I need units. I need a mangonel as well, but I just don't have the gold. Looks like I'm rotating villagers over that way to get gold now. But yeah, I'm not sure if my army can hold against this. I'm glad I've got all these hardened spearmen. But I'm gonna send my villagers elsewhere because this feels very exposed. The gold, this mill, this wood line, it feels just very exposed. We're pushing in. We're holding okay, to be honest. That was okay. I think his knights would have been taken down by my spearmen pretty quickly, and then my lancers would have just had free reign over his uh, longbowmen. Sent a huge chunk of uh, villagers to try and get rid of that scout, but he got away. And now I'm supply blocked, which is really annoying, because look at how many units I have in the queue. He's burning down more sections of my wall. This is a problem because he's going to start running knights into the back of my base. So it said we are producing a lot. We're getting a sizable army up. But yeah, now here come the night raids. So they're just going to go after all of these villagers. But I think I saw them heading down this way. I'd like to think I'm going to send my villagers through to run away. Oh no, he doubles back. Interesting. Oh, I'm retreating. I don't like what I'm seeing over here. And these spearmen are trying their best. Oof. We're going to lose all these troops. I'm pulling back to my town center. At least it's my main town center. Oh, and now the knights are going after. Oh no, they're just riding through. I decide, why don't we just slip through the gate here? Nice, now he can't get them. And now my units can just clean up these knights. The spearmen are so effective versus the knights. That phalanx upgrade is so strong. We are just destroying these knights. That was a huge loss. Although it looks like I lost many units on the front lines as well. Wisely getting down a mangonel. I haven't seen a springald in his uh, army composition just yet. And these longbowmen are annoying. I really wish my opponent had gotten the um, set up camp ability because he has a lot of uh, injured longbowmen. Over here I had a good amount of stone built up so I dropped a keep and now we're chopping. There's really just not a lot of lumber options on the map once you get through this first chunk and of course this small outcrop here. So I decided to make a bold play and go for this double wood line and hope he just doesn't notice the uh, doesn't notice the keep and doesn't notice this whole operation going on here. It seems like his attention's pretty much on the front lines here, so why not? He's sending more knights in. Fortunately, I've already got units here to defend. He's, he's wisely targeting the berries, but this is just gonna cost him more knights. And I don't even have my villagers over here anymore. We've moved on. Oh, good spear attacks there, that's awesome. We're mostly moving on to farms. 
We've actually, because of this safe uh, chopping location over here, our wood income has just exploded. And so we're able to make the transition to farms, which are a lot stronger thanks to that agriculture upgrade. More knights coming in. Looks like they're headed for these villagers down here. Yeah, there's two of them down there. Might as well go for them. Over here, I'm losing villagers because these spearmen were asleep on the job. Looks like I'm losing three, four, maybe three villagers there. Now we can go back for the, uh, the food here. On the front lines, we're engaging. We've got plenty of man at arms. We just don't like taking all this archer fire. Fortunately, we got this mangonel coming forward. That's going to get great hits, but now I need to defend against these knights, which are just going to burn down the mangonel. I really wish I had had a villager on the front lines to repair this mangonel once it gets targeted, because all we needed was a few more seconds and we would have really survived that onslaught. And now look, we have to retreat from just all these archers. These longbowmen are just nasty. And yeah, you can see the villager rushing over to try and repair the mangonel that's no longer there. We did get down a siege workshop, and I'd like to have that constantly working. But his knights notice the mangonel moving through my base, and I'm not quick on the draw. Should have grabbed this villager to start repairing it. Should have sent in my units to do something about it. Instead, I'm just going to lose the mangonel. That's two mangonels lost to knights really quickly. Oh, even started healing it. That's so frustrating. We are grabbing up uh, relics on the map. So we've just dropped off one relic that was uh, kind of tucked away in the corner here. But yeah, I'm nervous about this front line. It's good that I'm queuing up more mangonels. They're definitely going to be the solution. He can't burn them all down. I'm losing more villagers down here to these knights. That's going to be three dead villagers. I'm not really sure what I... Okay, I'm sending some troops down there. Down here, my monk, or my imam, is going to make a real quick run past this outpost and this villager. All right, we'll clean that up. We've walled back up. That feels good. And we've got an outpost here with a spring alt emplacement. I'd love to see, yeah, another outpost. The fact that he hasn't put a spring alt emplacement or an arrow slit on this outpost is a big mistake. We're just kind of riding through areas of his uh, territory. We want to see if we uh, can find any, like, forward operations. But now I spot the monk running past the sacred site, likely just grabbing this relic. If I was a little quicker on the draw, I'd probably have these units take take out that uh that monk uh these archers are, or these longbowmen are going to take out this uh, villager building the outpost so this is going to just be unfinished i've got a mangonel ready but man has he got a lot of knights i need to keep up with the spearman production and it looks like looks like i am and i'm even getting the hardened upgrade so these are going to be uh veteran spearmen this operation continues to be a success. I mean, we're, we're still just chopping away. He seems none the wiser. And this was a success as well. The Imam's going to make it back. That villager is just not effective. Nice, we're finishing out this tower. And now our troops that we kind of sent on a roundabout mission are back. I'm going to send these villagers to start mining. Although we still have a, a safe gold mining operation here uh, in the base. But I figured I'll send them around it get a little greedier really want to get rid of this tower really want to get rid of this tower it's just giving my opponent the uh, network of castles enhancement now we find a just begun keep so we're gonna uh, we're gonna queue up a uh, trebuchet Oof, losing lots of uh, spearmen to those longbowmen now his knights are riding through. I'm going to lose all these villagers if I'm not careful. Looks like I respond by sending my spearman army forward. Okay, would love it if we could engage with these knights. Yeah, the more we engage, the better. Ooh, some good hits there. Now I'm sending mangonels forward to try and take care of this keep. We're house blocked. We really need to fix that. Okay. 
And I'm just sort of watching this front line. This keep is going to be annoying, though it's good that we already have a trebuchet in production, so we'll be able to start chipping away at it. Really would love to see a mangonel start working on this uh, outpost here, because I'm tired of it giving the uh, that network of castles enhancement. We're still mining away. That was a little scary when the knights came by. I feel like I should keep a standing army near here. We're getting some upgrades. Military Academy will be getting faster uh, unit production, which is important. And now we've got a battering ram that we're feeling like we'll send forward to just kind of feel out uh, what my opponent has. Still got to get rid of this outpost. Mostly just seeing knights coming forward. We're sending out the battering ram, but suddenly a bunch of springalds start uh, targeting it down. Those five springalds are a real issue. I've wisely already made two springalds, but he's got way more, and he's just going to be producing them nonstop from this keep. He sent his knights through to burn down this palisade gate. I've got a lot of exposed villagers here. I sent some spearmen, but I think I forget to go all the way through. And so they just hang out here and just wait. Which is unfortunate. I really need these spearmen to get engaged. I think I'm busy watching my mangonels get targeted down by these spring alts. Really want these knights to snipe down the spring alts. Use my own spring alts to do that as well. And now I've hit 200 population. So there's not much else I can build. So I'm going to try and lose, or at least spend some units targeting down these spring alts. We're losing lots of villagers over here. I mean, that was probably 10 villagers there. Fortunately, I'm still at 97 villagers, and if I need to remake them, I will. In fact, I've already queued up another 13. And it looks like we're just queuing them over to this safe gold mining operation here. So that's good. And of course, we are killing off his uh, killing off his knights, so that always feels good. Those are expensive units. So we've begun sieging down the keep, but my opponent makes it into the Imperial Age. The knights that I sent around the back get a good preview of his army. He's starting to mix in lots of man-at-arms. I don't want to engage here because of the keep, because of the longbowmen. I mean, this is just his entire army. So at least halfway through the battle, I realize, whoa, 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 let's pull these, uh, let's pull these knights away. We'll kill a villager, and then I'm going to send them up into his farmlands, because that's probably where we can get some villager kills. He's noticed my... Uh, operation that's been going on here because he started to build an outpost nearby and the castle or the keep is just firing away at it. We're in his back lines. We're going to hopefully have them kill off a bunch of villagers while we finish off the uh, the keep, but it's proving to be difficult. These spring alds are really annoying. I need more spring alds to deal with uh, what he's got. All these mangonels, they're just, yeah, they're just targets for these spring alds. I'm going to engage here, mostly because I'm at my 200 population and I'm thinking I can tear down this keep. It's on its last legs. The problem is my mangonels can't come forward because of these spring alts. I really need units to start targeting them down. I decide to use my mangonels to shoot at the spring alts, but it doesn't do much of anything. Though, he is starting to get a little too far forward, and we're beginning to target down his spring alts with my infantry. Villagers got chased away from this uh, gold operation. I'm not really sure where to send them. I think I eventually send them down here to the, this uh, food, the, the deer hunt. We couldn't quite take out the keep. He's still repairing it with these three villagers. But he can't come any further forward because of all of the defenses and this, this wall here. I'm going to move my units a little farther over. I just don't want to lose all of these spearmen because they're very strong against his, um, they're very strong against his knights. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to use the mangonels to deal with all of these man-at-arms. 
Yeah, some great shots there from the mangonels. Down here, I'm losing my keep. He identified it, he's English. He's gonna send trebuchets to destroy it. Up here, I've nearly lost all of my operation here because of these knights. These poor villagers are just gonna have to run for it. We're finally taking out his outpost because we got a spring alt on this outpost. So this is finally gonna be taken out. That'll reduce his vision and hopefully get rid of that network of castles, although he's still got this outpost and of course the keep. He's sending more villagers to repair. He really does not want to lose this keep. But with these two trebuchets, he's gonna lose it. I'm under attack by knights nearly everywhere, and I'm losing villagers because of it. However, my villager population, I'm still keeping steady. Whenever I see that I lose a bundle, I just make a bunch more. And as long as we stay mobile on the map, and take advantage of whatever spots we can. I mean, here we've, we've started to mine this gold thanks to this keep, and now with 48 villagers on gold, I'm realizing I'm a little imbalanced. So I need to make a play for um, a wood line on the map. This harass up here actually went fairly well. I think we got maybe five or six villagers, but then they were eventually taken out. I'm gonna lose some units here, that's okay. Uh, the knights can take care of most anything. They'll burn down this uh, outpost and clear out these units. Oh, don't want to lose this mangano. I don't know why he ended up so far forward. Oh well. In terms of upgrades, we've gotten all our level 1 upgrades. We'd love to see me queue up a bunch more of these, especially seeing as in how I have just so much gold. I have so much gold piled up. And I'd love to see me use my marketplace to balance out my economy a little bit. Oh, we're coming forward with the knights, and we're taking out a lot of his spring alts, so that's good. There's his elite longbowman army again. It's a lot of trebuchets. I'm not sure what he's going to target down. Probably this outpost. Both of us are a little thin on units. I mean, he's got a decent number of longbowmen, but his man-at-arms mass is really thinning. My knights are just doing a lot. He's not mixing in spearmen. He just will not make spearmen against my uh, knights. I'm trying to clear out the uh, knights that were over here near my gold, and we're gonna make a little little keep in this stealth forest so that we can then move on to this uh, wood line. Some good shots from the mangonels, or the uh, trebuchets, that's good. Be a shame to lose these villagers, but I think his army's gonna find them. It's okay, we can keep transitioning over to farms. And again, would love to see these upgrades come through. Ooh, the keep got some shots off. That was good. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna lose these villagers here. We're scouting around the map with our cavalry. We can't seem to find anywhere else where he is on the map. He doesn't seem to be in this left corner. He doesn't seem to be in this top corner. So while we're taking advantage of these resources out on the map, all that he's really grabbed are these central resources. The food, this gold mine, and I think there was a stone, yeah, stone outcropping right here. But he hasn't taken the sacred site. Not sure why. We're gonna send more knights in to harass. And we're just gonna keep building units. It looks like he's targeting down a lot of my walls. But we're in his base now, and we are going to go after all of these villagers that he's just had working these farms. You can see he has the enclosures upgrade, so he's still getting lots of gold. I'm still in the castle age. We're going to duck out really quick to see if we can't find more villagers this way, but we don't find anything. Fortunately, his army completely walks past these villagers, so we really only lost the villagers that were working these berries. Now I'm queuing up a bunch of upgrades. Looks like my blacksmith upgrades and a lot of econ upgrades, so that'll be good. And more importantly, we were able to secure this tree line. And now we're chopping away with 24 villagers. And we've got 48 on gold still. So we can, we can spend all the gold we want. 
would really love to see the marketplace get used here. I'm at 10k gold. We're target firing down villagers. I've just pretty much shift queued a bunch. And yep, now we're just going to find even more. Just click, 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 click. Perfect. We're going to clear out this army that he sent down the south way. They destroyed these kind of, uh, they killed some of the chopping here. They then destroyed these, uh, the mill that was working these berries and the villagers there. But we finally clear them out. We're going to wall back up this, uh, this segment. On the front lines, it's a huge stalemate because we both have trebuchets. I don't really have buildings he can target except maybe these houses. I'd love to see him come up this way and start to target down the outpost and my houses. But I decide to age up. I'm going to go trade wing so that I can eventually go to the long game and uh, start trading at this uh, neutral market. I'll just put some markets back here and then send long distance traders. Trying to sneak some villagers out. I appear to be successful. He's sending more man at arms in. I'm not sure. Maybe he's scouting out to see what I've got. But the trebuchets are doing a good work at just preventing any outposts from going up. These mangonels are doing great too. He's sending the trebs forward. He's got springalds in support. I'm going to send my knights out because I don't really see any units guarding his siege. This is a huge opportunity. His spring ults seem to be out of position. We're just going to burn them all down. That's two spring ults. Yeah, the, the cavalry are all over it. One, two, three, four. And let's see if we can't get some trebuchets while we're at it. But now the longbowmen are here, and my units are just going to get shredded by all the arrows. Over here, we're securing more resources. We want this gold vein, this stone outcropping, and this food. So we're once again going to put down a keep, and I'm hoping this and this other keep will keep us secure. We're burning down more of his structures. I'd like to keep this wood line safe, so I'm occasionally sending my units this way just to provide reinforcements. And we make it to the next age. The main things we're going to get in this next age are siege units. We really want to get culverins coming out. The culverins are going to deal with any spring alts and trebuchets that he makes. And then we can continue to make mangonels, maybe get the adjustable crossbars. Down here, oh, I've got some idle villagers. Would love to get them working on these farms. Hopefully I notice here. Good, I'm getting improved processing, so villagers are going to drop off more resources. That'll be great. Okay, can we get these villagers to work? I wonder why they didn't uh wonder why they didn't build these farms. Looks like they all just decided to stop. Weird. Okay, there they go. That'll give me some more food income. Our gold mining operation has ended here. We're gonna need more. Now we're coming forward. We want to see what he's got. I don't see any spring alts. We burned down a lot of them. Let's see if he's remade. Yeah, he's remade. Five spring alts. I'm going to lose all my mangonels here. This is when it pays to have maybe a scout go forward before you send in all your expensive siege. We did get some good shots on the longbowman there with the mangonel. As long as we keep producing mangonels, I'm, I'm okay. The trebs are just kind of firing at spring alls. That's not a really good idea. Yeah, let's retreat these uh, trebuchets because they need to go. Yeah, run, run, run. Fortunately, I've got spring alls of my own. I'm targeting down his low health spring alls. But really, I need those culverins, and now they're coming out. And yeah, I lost all my mangonels there, but we're going to come forward, and we're still sending units kind of... Uh, in looping patterns around the map. We're still looking for if he takes advantage of the map because we saw lots of walls go up here. So he's definitely taken this top corner. And that's frustrating. He's got his Windguard Palace as well. But we're going to just start producing all these uh, Imperial Age units. So it looks like I'm pumping out my Elite Lancers, Elite Man-at-Arms, Elite Crossbowmen, and Hand Cannoneers. 
and we've knocked out all of our upgrades from the blacksmith. We've managed to split up a decent chunk of his army. I'm seeing his knights and crossbowmen up here. His longbowmen are probably sitting... Oh, there they are. They're up here. So we're just going to back away. And my opponent's really falling behind in upgrades. They should really have a lot more than that. It looks like maybe he's just gotten the tier 1 upgrades. We've retaken this section of the map. We're just going to have a standing army secure it and get these villagers chopping away. But now we're getting all of these great uh, technologies as well. Incendiary arrows, elite army tactics. I'm getting that from the uh, madrasa back here. And in the religious game, I've been sitting on two relics, my opponent on three. And no one has claimed the uh, sacred sites, even though he's had control of the center for so long. We're sending out units. These elite lancers are fully upgraded. They just completely annihilate anything in their way, except for crossbowmen and spearmen. Now we've got bombards, and more importantly, we've got culverins. These are so effective at taking out siege units. If he wants to bring spring alts forward, he's going to be in trouble. These hand cannoneers are also going to be very helpful. They just deal a lot of damage. Nice, we're taking out all these outposts. We're just tempting him, we're baiting him to bring his spring alts forward, and now we spot them. I'm gonna pull the bombards back, the culverins come forward. They can pretty much one-shot these spring alts. So it's four spring alts versus two culverins. Actually three, we've got this one flanking over here. And look, we lost one culverin, but we took out all the spring alts, and now we're basically bombarding his army baiting them to come forward because if they come forward we're going to send in all of these units oh and the mangonels over here are getting great shots look at that landing in these clusters we sent some knights back there it managed to grab some attention now down here my units are taking out trebuchet and now we're going to engage with his army the longer this fight goes, the better it is for me. I've already got units in the queue. And these mangonels are alive. And it looks like the upgrade game is really winning me this battle. He's sending units forward. Oh, more spring alt. He targets down my bombard, but now the culverins spot the, uh, the spring alts. They're going to turn and fire. Yep. They fire so fast. We've got armies closing in from either side. We wanted to kind of do a flanking maneuver here. We're seeing more spring alts coming out. We're just going to use the culverins to one-shot them. The keep goes down, and now he has no defenses. I think his army is just completely whittled out, and now we're tearing down his infrastructure he surrenders i think the story of this match was upgrades he didn't really push his advantage on this front line and that gave me time to sneak resources in to tech up to get to these incredibly strong uh, gunpowder units either press the issue or continue with the upgrades and play for the late game anyway hope to see you for the next match